Hey everybody! Hey, Chris and Vegans here, and we're showing you the videos from day four, five, and six. Day four and five, we spent the weekend in Toronto, and uh, just with like family. We're not the greatest at filming, so we're kind of awkward. So we don't really have that much footage. We did go roller skating at a local park that Chris used to go to as a kid, so he kind of showed me his stopping grounds a little bit. But day six itself is the day we kind of left Toronto and continued on our road trip. Yeah, so follow along, like, share, and subscribe, and uh, enjoy the journey. Yeah. Love ya. <laughs> South Etobicoke, heading to Colonel Samuel Smith Park. Driving through Humber College, just my own old stopping grounds. A lot has changed, so. <laughs> so this all used to be part of like the estate asylum that was here in like the 1800s that they built. And it, that obviously is a new building that they yeah. built. Yeah. Basically, have this little facility here. Lakeshore Psychiatric Ward was built in 1888 and opened in 1889 as the Mimico Asylum. It is designed in a cottage system to not feel like most institutions of the time. At its height in the 1940s and 50s, the hospital housed around 1400 patients. The hospital was closed in 1979, made a historical site in 1988 and the Humber College moved in in 1991. Some of you may recognize this location from such movies as Police Academy 1, 3, and 4, Strange Brew, and Equus. As cool as the Lakeshore Psychiatric Hospital is, we actually came to roller skate the skating path. In the winter, they ice it all over for ice skating. Hey everybody, hey. we are here at the Chell 10 Ham Badlands. Yeah. So we're gonna give you a tour with it, of it, and we got the cutie. Cutie. Karma. We begin day 6 by leaving Toronto and heading to Caledon, Ontario to explore part of the Niagara Escarpment, the Cheltenham Badlands, a natural heritage landmark in southern Ontario, a geological gem that was first formed at the base of the sea 450 million years ago during the Orovician period. 
The site occupies an area of 0.4 kilometers and features exposed and highly eroded Queenstone scale bedrock, where it leaves this beautiful, uneven, and rolling landscape. Iron oxide is the reason it's red, where the green gray bands are from oxidization of circulating groundwater. The park does have most of the badlands blocked off, but they do have a 325 meter boardwalk trail open to the public so we can continue to admire this breathtaking landscape for generations to come. Oh my god, it's cold. <laughs> Oh, well, I don't want to touch it. Oh, that's fine. Guys, oh. Oh, yeah. he's just drying, bringing rocks. Oh, this stuff, this stuff is so just crumbly. Well, we survived! Yay! The bad lions. Bad lions. It was at the end of our walk that we were notified that we had left Karma's insolent at Chris's mother's house. So after heading back to Toronto and leaving Toronto again through rush hour, we didn't make too much time and ended up staying behind the Mistoka information booth just two and a half hours away. We are Cruising Vegans and thank you for watching. If you're feeling our vibe, please like, share, and subscribe. And if you're craving some more, links down below.